so. Boom! Hey, what's up, guys? Chris Cohen here, and as you can see, a bit of a change in the setup, but Chris. This was your original setup when you first started Filmmaker React. Thank you, awesome fan. Yes, it is indeed the original setup. And you know, sometimes it's cool to just switch things up a bit. So, with that said, today we're gonna react to Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. And I know what you're gonna say about Heaven's Word, but guys, I'm sorry, I went to react to it and I have seen it before. I remember the dragoon and everything, and I was like, no! But then I was like, okay. There were still a few comments about Shadowbringer, so I guess we'll have to do that. So I hope you guys are excited, it looks really sick. We have the Warrior of Light himself. So I'm pretty pumped, Final Fantasy is, of course, my favorite game. So with that said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all news in regards to my project announcement, Star Wars Lineage of the Force. I will have a link to the announcement and the teaser in the description below if you haven't checked it out, because I really need your feedback, guys. And with that said, let's fire up YouTube and transition to ExpressVPN and how it has helped me watch Levi kick ass. ExpressVPN is the tool you need, guys, that does all the things for you to stay protected and block worldwide content and so much more. Click my link in the description and find out how you can get three months for free of the best VPN provider out there. I have been using ExpressVPN and I've actually set it up to start up on lots by default so that the moment the computer starts, I'm already protected and ready to go, which is pretty sick. And while there's so many features that a VPN provides you, I want to focus on my two most favorite that actually have a daily impact that you can actually see. And one is of course staying protected, and two is unlocking worldwide content. When it comes to protection, ExpressVPN encrypts all of your data and masks your IP from every site that wants to collect your data, hacking from the same network as a user or your own internet provider and so much more. A must have in my opinion, you do not want to be found, find yourself in that situation when you're like something is really wrong with my computer, what is happening or your like accounts. And also imagine just have like having chilling in your, in your place, right? But everything is like glass and see through. So anyone from the outside can just peek through and be like, oh, that's what he's doing or like that's what he has. Not cool, bro. Now here's the thing, guys. I consider myself an extremely patient person. So when I go online and I type a normal website or whatever, and this message from like my provider comes in of like blood content or like not in your territory or geography, whatever it is, it makes me just like a tiny bit unhappy, I must say. From YouTube all the way to Netflix, all I have to do is select a country of my choice and then I'm instantly connected and I can just click on Hunter x Hunter and just watch it. I like to access the content that I want from where I want it and ExpressVPN is the tool to do so. And you guys can have all of that as well with ExpressVPN and here is the sick part. If you click my link in the description, you're gonna find out how to get three months for free. So hit that link in the description, let's put Final Fantasy Shadowbringers in full screen and get to it. Now with that said, I'm actually gonna pre-like this cinematic because something tells me it's gonna be epic. I apologize if that uh, offends you guys, but it's Final Fantasy, okay? So, full screen. <clears throat> Let's do this, bros. One, two, three. May contain content in a... Oh, who cares? All of YouTube is not appropriate. It starts like the flames of truth. What happened again, man? Banners in fire. Is that a salmon? What is that? Oh, I see. Square Enix. <laughs> Here's our boy. I don't think I've ever heard him speak before. How many years have I waited for this moment? I think he's talking to the players. Ixo. For the one that stood alone against the storm. Come on, boy! Ooh. 
Oh, he won! That was fast. But you are that. Oh, there he is. This is like a... That was from the first one. Kevin Ford, the first first one. What is going on, man? Oh, really? Slice it. It's like a gremlin, man. Well. That paints an image. Ooh, here we go, boy. Lift a tree, no. Joking. Damn. Oh, if I played the game. This fate or defy it. But we cannot deny it. Deny? It's a cheat to run from my troubles. Oh, come on. Oh, he's big, man. That was a cloud move. And he's using all the moves from like the trailers. That's pretty sick. Until our Show me returns, your face. I will hold the line. We can hold the line together. There, kitty, kitty. Certainly has changed. Woof. Not at all for the better. All I say. Show me. I like you, bro. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Infilia. Oh my god, that's like from FF12, the bunny one. I mean, it's not the same character, but it's like the same species or something. That is sick, man. The crystal. This tragedy, greater even than the seventh umbral calamity, must be undone. Ooh, there we go, boy. Yasuo mode. Dude, it's massive. Let it be unwritten. Let it be unwritten. Oh! No. That's not how it works. Title. Become what you must. Sick. Oh, here we go, boy. Bunkai. Yes! Come on!
come on. Oh, that was sick. Oh. Oh, that was sick. Become the warrior of darkness. And when darkness finds you. Oh, guys. Yes. That was sick AF. Man. Final Fantasy. Arigato gozaimasu. Ah, so freaking epic, man. So freaking epic. How sick. So cute. I, I love this, and it, man, the, the thing that I love about this, it, they're like so long, right? It's like, what, six something? Sick AF, man. Six cinematic, one of the best from FF. It's so amazing to me that um, they uh, encapsulate so many aspects from the game, while also talking about the story, but talking to the player as well, you know? You think the fighting is done, there's nothing else to do, and then this comes along and we have to, you know, rise up again, which is pretty sick as well. And I remember, er, uh, I read all the comments, as you guys know. Remember, remember you're telling me that FF14 is actually quite story-driven, and that it actually uh, merges a ton of Final Fantasy, like, worlds, aspects, species, and everything. So that is so sick, man. I'm so happy that Square Enix, after the first launch of the game, which was abysmal, really, went back to the drawing board for like a year, and they came up with one of the best MMOs, because that's what Square Enix... Enix is, man, at the end of the day. Amazing games, amazing kind of like getting the player to be immersed on the world, the characters, and just want to be in them uh, like it's for me and, you know, all the other Final Fantasies that I've played. So it's so sick, man. So happy to go. Let's go back, back at the beginning and go through and talk about some cool things, some things I know. I mean, again, there's so many things going on here. So I will just like nitpick a few cool cinematic filmmaking stuff to talk to you guys about and we'll take it from there. So full screen, play, let's go. Let me, uh, why, why, why? We're supposed to be HD, it's 2021, YouTube. Let's go. So we start with a nice fade and it has kind of like the same, that kind of like amazing vocal kind of like soundtrack to it like uh what flames of truth had and to me when it comes i mean final fantasy is like fantasy plus medieval plus like futuristic at the same time which is pretty sick uh, but to me when it comes to swords elves and things like that this kind of music it just gets me into it instantly and as if you guys watch the um, star wars lineage of the force announcement and take a focus on the sound and the music uh, that is why that specific music and when the title comes in is chosen because my hope is that with the music it transports you emotion-wise to what happens plus the imagery it all merges together so here with from the opening scene the first thing uh, using that kind of like vocal soundtrack is really cool because it instantly transports me and most of you guys into the world. And they're gonna use the cloud, yeah. Using smoke, whether it is like actual smoke or whether it is fog, is a really smart transition to cut between two scenes but make it look seamless because you're not actually using a hard cut, which is basically one image cut to the next, but you're actually using an element within the scene to transition. That Something else would be, for example, if it's snowing and there's a blizzard, they would use the snow and the blizzard to transition us, or sometimes they use water, you know, when you go in and things like this. And it's a really cool way to just like seamlessly transition to the next scene without having a cut. It's pretty cool. So we have a very sweeping, like the camera just flows extremely uh, steady through the battleground. Almost if this was real life, like something like an FPV drone, but not like going crazy, but like very smoothly going through and taking our eyes to the focus of like the battlefield. The banners that's going to show us that sick. So I think you guys let me know this symbolizes all all the fights uh, you guys had throughout the game, and now it's like what you guys won over. What is that, by the way? The sword. I love how the title comes in, and there's a very subtle when you um bring up elements in the scene. Again, I'm just gonna use Star Wars Lineage of the Force because it's the most recent thing that I have personally done. And in, for example, when the lightsaber hilt comes in the image, we have a very eerie kind of like sound from the lightsaber. It's, it's an electronic sound, 
like an energy sound, but that was not there. But I put it there to uh, take your eyes to the lightsaber and have some form of like impact visually as well as sound as well. And here they bring the show the katana and then they bring in the tile and they they're putting in a subtle kind of like bassy sound so that when they bring another object let's say the title on screen it's also transition translated with sound as well not just visual Done. and they have a cool focus with the embers so it's like... how many years have come and gone since that day kind of like a summary which i always like but i love so he was the bad guy or something is he wearing him Filter mask? What? He has a third How eye as well. Have I waited for this moment? That stance is sick. That shot, man. And if again, focus on the sound design of the blade as it goes back in. Waited and then the composition. This is building so much tension again. For the one that stood alone against the storm. They show you a cool few things to like, you know, build up the tension even more. So they show the characters in relation to each other. That is our establishing shot in terms of like the characters and when they are in relation to each other. Then we cut to them scything their weapons or grabbing the weapons. Then you cut to their eyes and their emotions and it just builds and builds and builds. And as well with the music, it will reach a climax and then the action will happen. But as that happens, building the tension, you really engage the viewer to be like, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then boom, you give it to them, which is pretty sick. Another establishing shot from the far. And the, and the banner kind of like situates. Okay. Step by step. We have the katana coming up. And we have an extreme zoom out with a slash that happens so quickly. And then the sky opens up as well. Now this is a painting, like this is just sick. And this is one of my favorite effects, like as the sky kind of like, when it's cloudy, it pulsates out. That is just amazing. It reminds me of the Kingdom Hearts, uh, when Kingdom Hearts opens up in my short uh, VFX teaser, how I summoned, you know, the energy put it up in the sky and then the Kingdom Hearts opened up. That kind of like, this is so cool, man. I love this. I like, you know, the moon is in the center of the frame. Then we have the axes that I've always talking about, guys, and the little threads and its character in one of them. It's just beautiful, man. For the one they called. Warrior of Light. The Warrior of Light. Now here we have a very big shift in tone and again it transitions us by the music and the sound, not so the visuals because the visuals are kind of like in the same spot with the same kind of like drama of the eyes and stuff but with the music we now change tones and we shift to the next thing which is interesting as well because I know he's the warrior of light but at the end he becomes the warrior of darkness which is so sick man, like come on guys uh, but really cool and if you notice his colors here are more like bluish hue, let's say, like light and the other guy that's gonna come. But at the end, he has purple and purple is used across most mediums as a color to um, showcase the in-between. Kind of like, for example, in Star Wars Maze Windows, uh, he chose and he w told George Lucas to have his lightsaber purple. But then in canon, a purple lightsaber became a symbol of like that kind of like a user that is light but also taps to the dark side sometimes and so uh the color of purple is quite used in like a dark scenario or like for a dark character color that is also has good elements as well it's not completely red you know what i mean it transitions from red to purple into that blue in between and that is what it's meant to showcase as well like you have red you have blue and you have purple in the middle and that middle is also a characteristic used by that color with spritz. So it starts up 
with him wondering and remembering all the back. And it's really cool to use flashbacks from like the previous trailers as well. This thing. I'm sorry, I just want to put an arrow for its head. It's so annoying to me. So, you know, that kind of notion, you know, the game is done, the fight is done, there's nothing else to do. You're just wondering, being like, is there another quest? Is there anything else to do? What is my purpose now? Which, funnily enough, I remember when I f was way younger and I would finish, let's say, FF9 or something, I would, I would finish the game, I would be so enthralled, and then all of a sudden, I will feel robbed in the sense of, like, what to do next, because I'm like, I, I had all the focus for me to, like, finish the story, beat the boss fights, save Dagger, whatever, save the world, and then I was just like, now what? What am I supposed to do now? Well, it's pretty funny because the, the character within the cinematic is kind of like this. And he just wanders around after the fight having nothing to do. Uh, and he's also taunted by this thing. But then something else comes along and now it's like... Let's go again, boys. So I really like... This. At first I thought it was like normal size, but apparently this thing is like massive. And again... This is like illustrated as being good because there's like a lot of warm colors and light. So it makes sense that us who fight it needs to be in contrast to it. So we are dark after. So it comes in. Oh man, how sick is this? When you get a hit and then it's like... So sick. We should do this in Star Wars Lineage of the Force, man. Very cool. Then this goes really quickly and it transitions through like various parts of the world. Fire. If I knew who this was, I would be way more... <gasps> but I'm sorry, guys. You know, when FF7 Remake Part 2 trailer comes in, it's gonna be like... I'm gonna lose my mind, okay? Just wait for that. Deny. And I will know the story, so. <clears throat> I am not one to run from my troubles. And I love how he transitions through all of his, like, kind of like. It almost reminds me, like, FF13, how you could change, kind of like, um, what you were, like, from warrior to, like, sentinel, whatever. It's kind of like that, yeah, he's going through all of the things that we've seen from, like, previous trailers, expansions, and the story, whether he is a dragoon, whether he, there he is the samurai, and things like this, to use everything, and at the end, this is the new thing, which is the expansion, but they implement it so well. So, oh, she's so cute. She has like the Ari kind of like thing. So, you do that. Dude, this character, this character was sick. I don't know if he's like a part of the game. If he is, man, he, he, I, he's really cool. Like, and the gun blade, come on, man. How sick. I love this. He has changed. And not at all for the better. Back, come on. This, I love this transition. This is another example of a transition, but this has to do with a fight. And we've talked so many times how you transition when there is an impact, but here they do something really sick that is just amazing. So the character swings, so you see all his effort and momentum, and then his blade, you know, becomes like charged up, but then they use the slice of the blade to transition to the actual move itself. So that kind of like orange energy line transition us to the next scene, to the actual cut. I love it, man. And his like blade is like fired up and it has like, oh. Ah, oh, I love this shit. Not going anywhere. I promise you, Infilia. What's up with your eyes, though? 
because is, is she like infused with the crystal's power or something? I want to know is where she's man. This is, this is straight out from FF12 for me. You know, I really enjoyed FF12, not so much for its story because it was it was a, like a smaller, more down to earth story, but gameplay, the worlds, it was really sick. And she reminds me of the bunny one. Wow, what was her name, man? Ah. But yeah, that is really cool to see. Yeah, she's like the same, man. I mean, not the same, you know what I mean. I mean, that's some Xena Chakram weapons right there. Have you guys watched it as a kid? Sick. Sick. This is the epitome of awesome. I thought, usually, you know, when you have the bad guy kind of slicing in the screen towards us, is a really cool kind of like, you know, like cliffhanger kind of like end on in cinematic to kind of like tell you like you're pumped up so join us and then the title comes in but here we have the new sword we have some Excalibur lever things happening right there <laughs> you're doomed I'm sorry to cut this, guys. Um, you know, when there is a huge reveal, either a character comes in to the scene to save the day or something else, or you know how, like, uh, in uh, Marvel, when the Avengers assemble, you have this twisty camera move that circles around the character as they do something either assemble, like, you know, <sighs> do the swords and stuff, and this kind of move just emphasizes their epicness, and usually, you know, it starts from down low, <laughs> And then it comes up to our level, and that down low is like we're looking like this. Oh, 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 oh. So it's like, Your eyes should be purple as well. I'll be sick. Insane. The music choice to me is very interesting. It's very kind of like you know, like it's very modern compared to like elvish or like you know like medieval stuff which was a really cool kind of like um like i said before like moment switch in terms of like emotion and like tone it's pretty cool as well but anyways guys that was it i loved it man i hope there were hundreds of these because i can't get enough this is so awesome man it's so awesome what did you guys think i know you guys love it as well uh let me know down in the description below i know there's another one i think and walker uh, but we'll see. I need, uh, it's nice to kind of like change it up a bit, you know, uh, react to one thing, then react to something else, then come back to something else. So we keep it fresh all the time. But as always, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Check out the links down in the description, whether it is ExpressVPN, a must-have, guys, uh, as well as Star Wars Lineage of the Force and my Instagram. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and creative. <laughs>